Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and family, followers, subscribers, internet stalkers, strangers, haters, trolls, and those ladies who seek mine and and baseball Bob's companionship. So we are going to do a what has sold during the pandemic video. Uh, we've had quite a few things sell in the last couple of weeks. Do not pay any attention to this pile of stuff. We got some packages in, uh, stuff that I have ordered, uh, stuff that will be available at auction uh, this week and next. So I will uh, attempt to share my screen and show you what has sold. Let's get in this, shall we? Okay, first we have these um, a TENS Classic Fit Discreet Underwear, Level 6 Absorbency, Size Large, 14-pack of adult diapers, um, or I'm sure discreet underpants, I guess that's the proper term. Uh, we had seven. We have sold five. Uh, they were $14.59 each. Uh, if they bought them in bulk, uh, it, they got like a 5 or 10% discount. Uh, so we sold five of those. And, uh, nope, nope, oh, nope. Hmm. What is this? This is some more quilted adult briefs. These are Covidian Wings Overnight Quilted Adult Briefs, size large, 18-pack, nighttime absorbency. Uh, two of these sold. Uh, one person bought them, and they are going to Puerto Rico. Which is weird because a lot of our stuff, a lot of the adult diapers went to Puerto Rico. Uh, next, we have the Bordello Pinero Green nine and a quarter farm luncheon plate set of eight. Um, now, if you recall, several months ago, back in October, Bob and I went to go visit some friends who own an antique mall in Memphis, Tennessee. And while we were out there, we stopped at a few estate sales, and we literally loaded up my car with seven boxes of this uh, Bordello, Bordello Pinero. Uh, dishware. Um, we have sold most of it now at this point. Uh, we spent $185 on the entire collection. We One customer herself bought $700 worth. Um, this set of eight sold for $104.99. Uh, we'd have made more than probably 10 times our money on that. Next, we have a discontinued Noritake 9-inch oval vegetable bowl. It is the Pleasure Pattern Model 8344. The oval uh, vegetable bowl is extremely hard to find. Um, we had uh, three available. We've sold two. Uh, they were $39.99 a piece plus shipping. Next, we have a Vintage Singer So Handy Model 50D Child's Electronic Sewing Machine. It sold for $28.88 plus shipping. Here we have a Skill Plunge Router Model 1823, 25,000 RPM, 8.5 amps. It sold for $32.88 plus shipping. Here we have a Melody in Motion Oktoberfest Willy. Um, these I got in a garage sale pick. I got 10 of them uh, of the Melody in Motions. Most of them did not have their battery covers. Um, I paid $40 for the 10 of them plus some other dishware. So these were a pretty good purchase. Even without the battery cover, they still sell for, for decent money. Here we have two Pyrex covered butter dishes sold for $15.88. And I think we had free shipping on this one. This was a garage sale. This was a garage sale pick that, if you recall, was right around the corner from my house a few weeks ago. This is the one where the man was like really mean and screaming and yelling at his wife because she asked him a simple question because another garage sale customer was asking. And he told her she would just have to wait her damn turn. <laughs> he used some other very colorful language. But I monetize now, so I won't use that kind of language here on the video. Paid $7 for it. We sold it for $74.16 plus shipping. Here is one of the many, many DVR VHS cassettes that, if you recall, a couple years ago, 
sat behind me in a giant pile and mountain as the as Scott the bearded picker would would often refer to it as my my mountain of VCRs. Um, this I got at a garage sale for about two bucks uh, in Branson, Missouri, a couple of years ago. Bob and I finally got uh, around to listing a bunch of them. This one sold for $134.16 plus shipping. Here we have a Corel Enhancements White Swirl Pasta Bowl, eight and a half inches in diameter. Uh, we had five. Uh, I believe the same person bought all five of them, didn't they, Bob? No, one person bought one and the other person bought four. four. Yeah, so that's how that was. They were uh, $5.62 a piece plus shipping. Here we have another one of my VCRs, Sony VCR SLV 778HF. Adaptive picture control tested, had no remote, sold for $36.66 plus shipping. Here's another VCR and Magnavox DVD recorder, VCR MWR 20V6. Tested, both sides worked. There was no remote. It sold for $82.41 plus shipping. Here is part of that light bulb buy I bought last fall. I paid $100 for several hundred light bulbs, and lots of people gave me flack and said I would never make my money on that. I uh, had 11 of these light bulbs. They all sold for $28 a piece plus shipping. Oh, no, free shipping on these. Here was a Harley Davidson men's rain suit, size large. Sold for $79.88 plus shipping. And this went to Canada. Notice, Ke notice Quebec. The bathroom in the back. Yeah, yes, our bathroom. <laughs> oh, that is so very classy. Wow, our bathroom. Ah, that was our eBay picture with our crapper in the back. Yep. Oh, my God. That's what uh, prompted the sale. I'm, I'm sure it was. Here is another one of the Bordeaux Pinero uh, dishes. This is a shamrock green clover and basket weave sugar bowl with lid, three and a half inches high, $39 plus shipping. Here is a set of Disney, The Lion King, 101 Dalmatians, Hercules, and Mulan, eight inch plastic plates. These came out of our $2,060 storage unit, sold for $26.88 plus shipping. Another one of the Melody Emotions. This one is a little harder to find. It is rare. It is Willie the Whistler porcelain figure clown with car and dog. Sold for $119.88 plus shipping. Now remember, I bought all 10 of them plus some other dishes for $40. Here is a Perillo collector's plate, Pride of the American Indian set of eight. I got these in a garage sale probably about a month ago. Um, listed them up on eBay. They sold uh, sold within like two weeks. $84.88 plus shipping. I paid uh, $3 a plate for them. Here we have a vintage donkey mule pulling barrel wagon planter with three mugs. With three mugs. I don't get where, where's, where's the mugs at, Bob? Click on additional pictures. So I'm clicking on additional pictures. There's oh okay now I see. Well, very neat. I didn't even notice that. Uh this sold for $16.88. Bless shipping. This this boggled my mind. So this was a vintage gold metal Kleenex tissue holder. So you sit this, it's like a little metal box. It goes over your 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 set your toilet. Your Kleenex in lid goes on top, right? So the lady paid eight dollars and eighty-eight cents American for this, plus shipping to Australia. Like her shipping was like forty dollars. She sent me a message and wanted to know if I could discount the shipping in any way. I was like, "Ma'am, you live in Australia. Uh, it is what it is. I I make no money on the shipping because uh, I'm just going to ship it to Erlanger, Kentucky." Um, so I only get credit for like $7.85 or whatever it took to ship it to Erlanger, Kentucky. But she paid $42 or whatever, plus the cost of the item, to ship this thing to Australia during a pandemic. <laughs> like, like, do they not have Kleenex boxes in Australia? This was this thing, this boggled my mind more than anything. Maybe it was actually pure gold. 
Oh, maybe, maybe. Here we have Warner Brothers Tasmanian Devil Bride and Groom Salt and Pepper Shakers. Uh, $24.88 plus shipping. This is part of a lot of models I got from Jack Locker Nuts. Um, I bought, I think it was like nine model kits. I think I paid $70 for the whole lot. Uh, and we've done very well with them. This one sold for $19.88 plus shipping. This was a $1 find at a garage sale. It is a five CD set of Beethoven uh, Clique Piano Concertos. Um, sold for $7.88 plus shipping. This is a new in-the-box play in the station, PlayStation PS3 Move Bundle. Never opened. Bob had actually purchased this for his kids. They never used it, so he's like, the hell with it. We're going to sell it on eBay. <laughs> and it brought 99 Actually, we took a best offer on this for $80. $80 plus shipping. Here's another one of the models from the Locker Nuts Buy. Uh, AMT 1934 Street Rod. Uh, $16.88 plus shipping. Here's a giraffe planter. I believe we got this one out of the uh, Arlington Pickers Locker. Uh, $12.88 plus shipping. Um, this came out of that estate that we bought all the Bordallo Pinero uh, dishes. Um, we also bought a large collection of reel to reels. This is Jerry Lee Lewis Country Music Hall of Fame Volume Hits Volume 1 and 2 in reel to reel format. $39.88 er, plus shipping. This shocked the hell out of Bob. Um, 1980s GNT Telematic Danmark Classic Telephone. Uh, we did take a best offer on this. Uh, it sold for $58 plus shipping. Here is a copy of Stratego. Picked up at Goodwill for like $1.99. It sold for $12.88 plus shipping. This came out of our microwave we had at our store. Uh, our store hadn't been open but like three days, and uh, our microwave uh, crapped out on us. So Bob took out the the plate and the spindle spindle thing guide roller, uh, sold it for fourteen dollars and eighty eight cents, uh, and free uh, plus shipping. And then we junked the rest of the microwave. <laughs> Another one of the models that came from Jack, uh, nineteen thirty seven street rod, nineteen dollars and eighty eight cents plus shipping. This was a $1.99 pickup at, at uh, Goodwill. There was four different colors. Uh, we separated them out. Uh, these were the yellow trash cans uh, from a game called the Trash Pack. Um, these were yellow, 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 large, and small toilets. Never seen the game, but the pieces sell for pretty good money. I made 20 times. Our money on it and we offered free shipping this is a vintage singer zigzagger sewing machine sold for 32 dollars and 88 cents plus shipping this is one of two sammy sosa graded rookie cards that i got from global voodoo uh, i paid i think eight dollars for the two cards i was going to keep them in my own personal collection because i'm a huge sammy sosa fan from when he played with the Cubs. Um, but they got listed and sold it for $11.88 plus shipping. Another one of the kits that came out of uh, the Locker Nuts buy, $32.88 plus shipping. This is another thing that surprised the hell out of Bob. I paid uh, $3.99 for this cordial warp maker uh, at Goodwill. And then I paid a dollar fifty, I think, for the decanter, which was completely separate. But we put them together, uh, and we took a we took a best offer of one hundred and twenty dollars in free shipping. Not bad for like a four dollar purchase. This is Cat in the Hat Beginner Book Dictionary in Spanish, fourteen dollars and eighty eight cents plus shipping. Here is some Pokemon cards that I got from Storage Auction Pirate. I paid $30 for a lot of probably 100, 150 cards. 
This is just one card we got out of there. It was six. We sold it for sixty-eight dollars and eighty-eight cents plus shipping. Some a set of six gold standard porcelain china coffee cups made in Japan, twenty-two dollars and eighty-eight cents plus shipping. This I got at the garage sale with my mom and dad while on vacation in France, Missouri, a couple years ago. It's literally just sat around in my eBay room in my garage. It is a 3M Dynatel 500A cable locator. It's kind of like a metal detector, but it's what they use to like find power cables and television cable and other kind of cable that lays across your yard. Um, had it listed for $225, took a best offer of $185 plus shipping. Oh, and I spent uh, I spent five dollars on that at a garage sale. Um, this is a new inbox hot and cold stone massage book and kit. Uh, Eleven dollars and eighty eight cents. This came out of our five hundred dollars storage locker that we bought just a few weeks ago. Uh, Eleven dollars and eighty eight cents plus shipping. Uh, super rare Dell nineteen seventy one seventy two Pro Football Guide near mint condition intact and complete. This was actually just in the box of the electronic football game that we sold on eBay uh, a couple, three months ago. We had it listed for $39.99. We had lots of people send us lowball offers, but looking at comps that sold, I kind of stood firm on my ground and it sold for full asking price of $39.99 and free shipping. And it's kind of neat. It had all these cards and had a little issue with condition or whatnot, but we showed proper pictures. And, uh, and it got a full ASCII price. This uh, came is a lot of six Pokemon 23 karat gold plated trading cards with Pokeballs and certificates of authenticity. Um, we had it listed for $109.88, and I believe we took an offer of uh, $90 plus shipping. Uh, Mikasa Terra Stone eight and a quarter inch salad plates, set of five. I believe these came. Um, Those came out of the uh, two thousand dollars store. Right? Yeah, two thousand dollars store. Yeah, yep. Forty nine eighty eight plus shipping, and the lady liked them so much and our shipping that uh, she came back and bought more. Uh, this is a Harley Davidson shirt came out of the two thousand dollars storage unit. Twenty four dollars and eighty eight cents plus shipping. This we got, Bob and I went Goodwill shopping together for the very first time a couple months ago. This is a Sango Nova black four-piece ceramic canister set. Had it listed for $125. We took a best offer of $100 plus shipping. And as Bob went to go pack them, he dropped two of them and busted them. So we had to give the lady her money back. Yay. Yay, Bob. Yay, Bob. This is a set of five certified international corporation Brescia Milano pasta bowls serving set. Uh, these were there was one great big bowl and four smaller bowls. Uh, $69.88 plus shipping. This is a vintage uh, Nokia candy bar phone, 6160M. No idea why someone would want this thing, uh, but it went to Spain. So it went by global shipping. Here is a vintage uh, ceramic chamber pot or spittoon. Uh, full asking price, $15.88 plus shipping. Again, another vintage electronic piece. Uh, vintage Panasonic micro cassette recorder model RN-202. For parts not working, sold for $7.88 plus shipping. Vintage Kyle Petty Mattel Hot Wheels Racing Adjustable Snapback Hat. Had to open up a uh, non-paying bidder case. And uh, moments after doing so, they paid. So we took a best offer of this of $15 plus, uh, plus shipping. Another one of the Pokemon cards that came from uh, Storage Auction Pirate. Uh, that I paid $30 for. Uh, Pokemon Steel Rare H23-H32. Aquapolis set. <laughs> I have no idea how to say that. Aquapolis. 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 Uh, so for $48.88 plus shipping. 
Uh, the lady who bought the Mikasa set liked them so much, she came back and bought more from us. Here is a set of five uh, salad bowls for $49.88. But wait, there's more. She also bought the Mikasa Terrastone 11-inch dinner plates, a set of five, for $59.88 plus shipping. Another one of the Swords Auction Pirate cards. Uh, Pokemon Dark Ratio, Hollow Rare, blah, blah, blah. I know nothing about Pokemon other than that they seem to sell really well. Uh, $14.88 plus shipping. Here is Pokemon Jolteon EX Delta Species. Whatever that means. <laughs> Another $14.88 plus shipping. Uh, one of the other models uh, that I got from Locker Nuts, uh, new in the box AMT 1959 El Camino model kit, $34.88 plus shipping. Pokemon Dark Ratio Rare uh, Team Rocket Set, $16.88 plus shipping. Here is a funny Harley Davidson Bikers Ladies tank top, size 3X, must see. Uh, so it has this nifty little saying on it right there. I won't read it aloud, um, but you can kind of see where the humor lies in that. Uh, we sold one of these for uh, $24.88 plus shipping. Um, she thought it was so funny that, uh, well, she she bought the white one too. <laughs> Same lady bought both. Here we have uh, a TENS Classic Fit Discreet Underwear Level 6 Absorbency. Uh, four, they bought four of them, uh, and they're getting sent to Puerto Rico at $14.59 a piece. Plus, no, we did free shipping on these. Here is the other Sammy Sosa card I got from Global Voodoo. It sold for $6.88 plus shipping. Here is a Pokemon first edition Shadowless Sabrina's Gaze Pokemon card. Excellent condition. $5.88 plus shipping. And that, my friends, is what has sold in the last couple of three weeks. Um, hopefully, you found this to be informative and uh, you like videos like this. Some people do, some people don't. Uh, that's why I haven't done them uh, so much in the past. But that's what sold in the last couple of three weeks. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Remember, if you would, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. Uh, and we greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so very much, and God bless. Remember, share your smile freely without reservation. The world can be a very, very dark place, and your smile can be only a bit of sunshine in somebody's day. With that, much love, and we will see you later.